We are now bringing you breaking news from the Middle East, and there is still no confirmation on whether the Iranian president has survived a helicopter crash. Reports from state media earlier today showed the crash site, revealing the thick fog that surrounded the area where the incident occurred just a few hours ago. Authorities have located the helicopter and the Iranian military is currently heading towards the spot after receiving a distress signal from one of the crew members on board. Leaders in Iran are requesting prayers during this difficult time. The White House has stated that President Biden has been briefed on the situation. An urgent search is underway in a region that is already tense. The crash took place in northern Iran, near the border with Azerbaijan, where the president was on a visit. NBC Keir Simmons is on the ground in the region and will be reporting live tonight. Iranian rescue teams are facing challenging conditions as they rush to reach the remote crash site with severely limited visibility due to the weather and fog, according to Iran's interior minister. Initial reports from Iranian TV suggested that the crash was a result of difficult weather conditions. President Ibrahim Raisi was on board the helicopter earlier today with the foreign minister, who is currently missing. The country's second most powerful leader was seen on camera before the incident. Hours before the crash, Iranians had gathered for mass prayers for their president, who is considered a hardliner and a potential successor to the 85-year-old supreme leader of Iran. Ayatollah Khamenei has assured the nation that there will be no disruptions to the country's affairs and has expressed hope for the safe return of the president. The Iranian leadership has faced criticism for its harsh crackdown on dissent, particularly following mass protests after the death of a young woman last year. Lester had previously interviewed Raisi about the release of American prisoners in Iran, confirming that they are in good health. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. See you next time.